January weekends this year have been rubbish here in England. Wet, rainy and rubbish. Today, for the first time in what seems like ages, I can get outside and work on projects in the garden without getting wet. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. I'm back on the construction work for the control system and mimic panel frames and containment units. I started this a few weeks ago and today I hope to complete the main construction work. I've also been working on the extended side of the roof of the garden studio so that it goes over the railway a bit here and covers up the control box and mimic panel. I am going to roof over the back of the studio too, up to the fence line so the back here is protected and stays dry. Also to the right a bit over towards the barbecue. I'll tidy all that area up as well. This corner of the garden needs a good old tidy up all round. The ply goes on easily once cut to fit the support timbers. When I opened up the tin of black bitumen paint it was almost solid as it was so cold. I've been gently warming it in front of the wood burner in the studio for the last hour or so and it goes on much more easily now. A single layer of roofing felt will do for the time being but I'll add another layer once I've finished trimming and adding the rear extension to the roof. Propping up the outline frame of the control box that I made before, I can get ready to make the front cover which will clip over the front. I also need to work out the best location for the linking tube which will carry the control wires between the back of the control modules and the mimic panel. I don't much like it up at the top here. I can hide it within the box of the mimic panel under the windowsill but it will lower the top of the mimic panel a bit and I don't really want it to be too low. I think the best option is to run it along the underside of the mimic panel box coming out of the bottom of the control module box. The front cover of the control module box will just be a simple frame and ply front. I'm using basic ply for most of this construction, not that it's cheap, but much cheaper than quality plywood sheets and once painted it'll all blend in okay.
The front cover basically just hangs on the main box quite nicely, but I think I'll add a couple of side hook clips to stop it falling off. The Mimic panel design is a bit more tricky to work out. There's a main outer frame which will fix to the side of the studio and within this the cables will be tucked away from view and the side block section will form a hinge point for the central Mimic panel section to swing out. You'll see what I mean in a while, bear with me. The left side of the frame has a removable front panel so I can install the cables. Along the bottom here, there'll be a cable ducting, so I need to cut some round holes to pass that through. So that's the main outer frame for the Mimic panel, the part that gets fixed. Within this then, there's a hinged section which will swing out about 45 degrees when it's in use. Here goes with making that.
with the basic frame now made for the mimic panel i can check to make sure it fits just right for when i'm sitting here acting as the signalman for this station There's more to do with this of course. The Mimic Panel Box needs a lot more work doing to it. And it all needs a good rub down and the first coat of paint added. Once it's painted the whole installation will blend in more with the side of the studio and be less distinctive. Once all that's done, I can then begin on the construction of the many control modules, the cable bundles and the installation of this for the Linley station here. Always more to do, but that's part of the enjoyment. Thanks for watching and bye for now.